before attempting to service or install the CL60 grid tie PV inverters from Schneider Electric, wear personal protective equipment rated adequately for all potential hazards on site, following local, regional, and industry safety regulations. Ensure your upstream AC and DC breakers and disconnects are turned off and locked out and tagged out using LOTO procedure. Turn the DC connect to the off position and on the CL60A, perform LOTO. On the CL60A only, turn the AC disconnect to the off position and perform LOTO. Disconnect the PV string cables incoming to the inverters by disengaging all your MC4 or H4 connectors using the provided PV connector removal tool or manufacturer's recommended tool. Once all power sources are disconnected from the CL60, wait 10 minutes before removing covers. Measure for the absence of voltage using the appropriate PPE equipment and minimally rated 1000 volts DC, 400 volts AC meter. In this video, we will explain how to replace an expended fuse on the CL60A and the CL60E. Expended fuses will often indicate a warning, event code 073, within the LCD menu. It will be quick and productive to refer the string number from LCD display to identify the exact blown fuse. The following tools will be required to perform a fuse replacement, PPE, a Phillips number no. 2 screwdriver, a T30 driver, and a torque driver. Step 1. Completely loosen the 6 T30 screws to remove the lower cover of the CL60. And once removed, place the cover aside in a safe location. Step 2. To access the fuses, remove two Phillips number no. 2 screws locking the transparent protection panel in place. Retain the screws for reuse and pull the cover open. Step 3. Remove the suspect fuse by pulling the tab on the fuse holder with your thumb and index finger. Then, turn the fuse holder upside down to remove the fuse. Step 4. Using a multimeter, measure the fuse for high impedance to confirm it is spent. Step 5. Physically, inspect the corresponding PV string cables, modules, and equipment to identify and clear the incident that consumed the fuse. Step 6. With a meter, make sure the replacement PV fuse, 15 amp for the CL60E or 30 amp for the CL60A is in good condition. Step 7. Insert the new fuse into the fuse holder and push it back onto the fuse clips. While doing this, Ensure the arrow mark is pointing up on the fuse holder. Make sure you have positive lock on the top and bottom terminals. Step 8. Close the protection panel. Torque the number 2 Phillips screws to 0.8 Newton meter or 0.6 pound foot. Step 9. Replace the front cover by tightening the 6 T30 screws to 4.3 Newton meter or 3.2 pound foot. Step 10. Reinstall install the PV string cables and restore DC and AC power to the CL60 following LOTO, site, and jurisdictional safety procedures. Final step. Ensure the expended fuse alarm is clear and the CL60 is producing power. You can also confirm the service PV string is producing power by checking the run information. The first run information screen show us our overall DC input performance. And the second screen shows us individual current for each PV input. Ensure the service PV input is producing power.